Hello everybody, welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. Our last episode we got through most of the intros and all that stuff. Today, we are ready to dive Hell into yeah. Tartarus. Junpei's pumped. Hmm. Yukari is, I don't know, nervous. Alright, these are the three we're all going in. All right. Um, yeah, we don't have any anything to really tinker with. So, it's the real deal from here on, huh? Looks easy to get lost in. Can you all hear me? Whoa! Is that you, Senpai? I'll be providing audio backup from here on out. Keep that in mind. Wait, are you saying you can see this place from all the way out there? It's my persona's ability. The structure of Tartarus actually changes from day to day. I'd like to join you up there, but we need someone to provide outside support. That's even more concerning. Now, based on your current location, you can expect to encounter enemies at any time. This shouldn't be too tough, but proceed with caution. You'll get the hang of it as you go. Are these gonna be like random encounters? Right. Got it. Or is it like uh, P5? Why is she always like that? Gosh, I'm realizing I don't remember anything about Persona 4. Right. Let's begin. Defeat all the shadows on that floor. I'll support you as much as I can, but it's up to you to learn something out oh, there. Oh yeah, let's go. Okay, we can't jump. Anything cool up here? Hold on, there's a shadow up ahead. This is the first real battle for Takeba and Iori. Proceed with caution. Oh, she's got a bow. All right, let's start by going over how to attack shadows. Battle music is so when good. When faced with an enemy, you have two primary options for fending them off. The first option is to use your equipped weapon. The second option is to use your persona. But remember, every persona has its own strengths and weaknesses. Knowing how personas work will be crucial. Try summoning yours right now. Okay. Attacks and skills. You can choose whether to use an attack or a skill on your enemies. You can attack with whatever weapon you have currently equipped on you. While it doesn't do the most damage, it will not deplete your HP or SP. Launch an attack by selecting a target and pressing X. On the other hand, using a skill will deplete your HP or SP. To use one, press triangle, then select the skill you want to use and the target you want to use it on. It is so hard to read with this music. Nice. Okay. Looks like I'm up. Wow. Check this out. You good, Junpei? The, uh... Having to shoot themselves in the head is... pretty insane. It's pretty intense. Oh, yeah! How'd you like my persona ability? Pretty good, Junpei. Way to go, buddy. Yeah, that was amazing. Well done, Iori. Considering it was your first battle, you did well. Talk about two. You'll be fine. Don't be afraid to show what you can do. Got it. Yukari's like silently gonna be one of the strongest Good. characters we have. Let's continue exploring. Let's see, what we got back there. Okay, R2 sprint. Another shadow up ahead. Let's get you more accustomed to combat. Let's. The 
battle's about to begin. Everyone, stay focused. Okay, these muck dudes All right. Next, coming on the floor, they were weak to fire. For defeating enemies. Most enemies have an elemental affinity that they have low resistance to. Targeting weaknesses is one of the best ways to deal damage. Okay. Not only that, it can also knock enemies down. Knocking down an enemy creates an opening, letting you continue your offense. Weaknesses, huh? Done. I'll show you how it's done. Wait! Let me handle this one. Good job, Yukari. Just point it to my head and pull the trigger. I can do this! Oh, nice. Yes. Oh, you're not so bad yourself, you can die. That's it, Takaba. You give it a try as well. Each skill and attack has an affinity, and enemies will have weaknesses towards certain affinities. Attacking an enemy with its weakness will deal more damage than usual. It will also knock down the enemy. When an enemy is down, you'll be able to attack one more time. If you use this extra turn to knock down a different enemy, you can attack one more time again. As long as you keep knocking the enemies down, you'll be able to attack continuously. So just like you want to do. Well done. You struck the enemy's weakness. Keep that up and finish off the rest. I'll go with I did it! Fantastic work, Takeba. You performed as well as I hoped you would. Totally! I can take my eyes off you. Can you try not being a creep? Great. Looks like everyone's gotten used to Easy, handling Junpei. their personas. Easy. Leader, take note of each member's strengths and conduct the battle accordingly. I can still sense some enemies around. Let's move on. Some treasure? Uh, hang on. Can I? Turn up that sensitivity at all. Sure can. How's that? That feels no different. Okay, great. Yeah. looking thing yes boxes like those seem to be scattered all throughout Tartarus sometimes they contain useful items for battle seek them out as often as you can oh sweet so they're basically like treasure chests hell yeah let's bust it open and see what's inside treasure chests in Tartarus contain items money and other loot that will make exploration easier there are many types of treasure chests each with different contents inside. You especially want to keep an eye out for special items that can only be attained from treasure chests. Okay. That looks Life like it'll be useful. It's up to you to decide how to use it. If you get injured while exploring Tartarus, you can use items and skills to restore HP or SP. Open the menu, select item, and choose a recovery item such as medicine or lifestone, then choose a party member. Skills work in a similar way. Start by opening the menu, select skill, and pick a recovery skill such as Dia. Then choose a party member. It's best to prioritize Juno's HP so that the so that he doesn't faint while exploring. Um, it's also my understanding that Persona 3 Portable, you can play as a, uh, a female character. I guess that was left out of here. I wonder why. It couldn't have been that hard. Just put... Uh, so 30% of maximum HP ally... Or, or 2 ally. 
and these, yeah, okay. I always like it when games give you the option. I usually play as female given the uh, given the choice. But we were not in this game, so. Rival bead. Shadow detected. Looks like they haven't noticed you yet. Now's your chance. Try sneaking up on them from behind. Make sure you stay out of their field of vision. You can swing your server pressing square while exploring the slash an enemy doing so will start combat. Striking an enemy from behind will trigger a chance encounter where you have the advantage at the start of combat. If the enemy attacks you first, a pinch encounter will occur, placing you at a disadvantage. Get into the habit of initiating chance encounters to gain the upper hand for an easy victory. You can still swing your sword even when there are no enemies present, so you'll be able to practice and test your sword's range, okay? Hey, yeah. Next, I'm going to explain a tactic for defeating several enemies at once. I'm glad the battle music changes First, a little bit. Go ahead and strike an enemy's weakness. That definitely was a problem in Persona 5. Data, it was exactly the same in every battle. If you ever forget an enemy's affinities, just let me know and I'll get that data for you. Analyze. Pressing L1 will allow you to view the affinities of a selected enemy. The different affinities are Slash, Strike, Pierce, Fire, Ice, Electricity, Wind, Light, and Dark. The amount of damage inflicted depends on the enemy's affinity. Unknown. Affinity has not been used against an enemy yet. Weak. More damage dealt and knockdown possible. Resist. Damage is half. Null. No damage taken. Repel. Damage is deflected and inflicted on the one who initiated it. Drain. Damage is absorbed by the target and heals them instead. Okay. I'll go with. Okay, so we know that these guys are. We can fire. Alright, now knock down the other one. That's when you perform an all out attack. An all out attack? It's a maneuver that engages the entire team in a coordinated assault when all enemies have been knocked down. Naturally, the enemy has no way of defending against this. It's one of the most reliable means of attack. Oh, that sounds so badass! Let's give it a try right now! We knock down. We we know how all of attack works. Uh, they will not be able to join in. This will reduce the amount of damage. Okay, that makes sense. What to do? This is our chance. Let's wipe the. Get ready. <laughs> Shuffle time. Okay, this is new. After a battle is won, shuffle time may occur. During shuffle time, different types of cards uh, formed by the possibilities within your soul will appear. You can choose one of these cards. Each type of card has a different effect. Persona, acquire a new persona. Wand, increase experience. Cup, activates battle support effects. Sword, obtain a skill card. Coin, obtain money. The more one more as you get in battle, the higher chance shuffle time will occur. If you end a battle with an all-out attack, shuffle time will always occur. Alright. Um, this is the only one. Saras. Cool. Done and dusted. Cool. Orpheus leveled up. Our all out combo attack, you filthy shadows. When I saw my opening, it's like my body just knew what to do. That was magnificent teamwork. It's hard to believe it's your first time. <laughs> Sorry, I was immature. As you grasp the flow of battle, you'll learn to coordinate with each other seamlessly. Let's apply what we've learned so far and continue exploring. Heavy. Okay, that's just telling us. I've seen what the touchpad did. Whoa. Kind of scared me, honestly. I detected. 
expect another shadow up ahead. Take Me too. advantage of what you just learned. Try not to alert the enemy as you move. Yeah, Junpei. Got him. I've covered the basics of combat now, but the most important thing is making decisions based on the situation at hand. I'll continue providing support, but this time, go ahead and try fighting on your own. You, my boy, are able to possess multiple personas and summon them at will. Ah yes, I remember. I can feel a new potential within myself. If you have multiple personas in your possession, you can use change persona to swap out your equip persona with another one in your stock. Changing personas will also change your stats, affinities, and usable skills based on the persona you switch to during battle. Open the persona submenu to view skills and press L1 or R1 to change personas. You can also change your equip persona outside of battle by pressing triangle to open the menu, then navigating to the persona submenu. You can change personas at any time, but in battle you can only do so before taking action that turn. Okay. Bufu? That's a sick. So these guys are still weak to fire, aren't they? Oh, these are new. Well, you know what? I'd be better weak to ice. Oh, would you imagine that? Your persona just now. It looks like you really do have a special power. What to do? This is our tent. Let's do it. Boy, I do love selecting randomized cards. Uh, you will restore 50% of your maximum HP. XP acquired from this battle will increase. Obtain money or obtain one of the skill card Dia. So that's a uh, I um health spell. I wonder if we just get the it's like a one time use or if we can teach a persona yet. I suppose we better find out, huh? Tamed one of the skill card DA. Mask of cruelty times two, okay. The enemy has been defeated. Excellent work. Um, was that? Well, it looks like he has the ability to summon different personas. I suspected as much after the events from the other day, but now we know for sure. All right. There's a device nearby that will teleport you back. Look around for it. There should also be some stairs nearby, but I can't approve any more exploration right now. We'll explore the upper floors next time. Occasionally, you will encounter one-way teleporters in Tartarus that can be used to return to the entrance. Keep in mind that since these teleporters are only one way, you cannot return to the same floor it was used. Fancy chest. Look! That treasure chest looks different from the one before. Yes, that particular box is sealed in a special way. The box can be unlocked by its own mechanism, but it needs something else to work during the dark hour. The twilight fragment I found in my room seems to be reacting. What's that you got there? I wonder. The reaction? Do you have a twilight fragment with you? Try holding it up to the treasure chest. Special locked treasure chests can be unlocked with twilight fragments. The amount you need will vary from chest to chest, so you'll want to collect as many as you can. 
The number of Twilight Frameics I have is one. Using one should open it. Snuff Soul. Okay. Not bad. It can be used on devices throughout Tartarus. You'll find more in Tartarus or other locations with traces of shadows. If you come across any going forward, you'll want to take them. Deal. Deal. Did we... Thoroughly... Okay, these are the stairs we're not supposed to go up. Hey! Wait, we're looking for the teleporter, aren't we? Exactly what Takiba said. Please prioritize getting back safely for now. Yeah, we we will. Don't you worry. Looks like you found a teleporter. Now use it to return to the entrance. Okay. Welcome back. So, how was it? No problem. I see. Well, if you gained confidence, that's the best thing you could have achieved. Wow! I never knew I had that kind of power! Damn, why do I feel so exhausted? Because you were bouncing around like a little kid. You say that, but you look pretty tired yourself, Yukatan. This is different. It's like I'm having trouble breathing. What's going on? That's the effect of the dark hour. You'll become fatigued more easily. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. I have to say, though, I'm surprised. You all did much better than I expected. At this rate, they'll catch up to you in no time, Akihiko. <laughs> we'll see about that. By combining my powers with the teams, I was able to stand against the shadows. I sense a strong bond with them. Hooray. Sweet. Fool leveled up, I guess. Just like Yukari and Junpei, I feel tired as well. I decided that it would be best to return to my room and rest. Mm. Mm. Starving. All right. Okay. Go to go back. Not bad. After returning from Tartarus, a dark hour will end. This will start the next day. Use this time wisely to recuperate for your next ep expedition. The structure of Tartarus will have changed by your next expedition. Treasure chests you have already found can be rediscovered as well, so returning could be a good idea if you find yourself stuck. Let's finish up here. Does that sound good to you? Yeah, we're good. Rest up, come prepared for our next expedition. I said expedition a lot. That's hard. Hard word to say. Yo. Hey, you're in 2F, right? What's with that weird look in your eye? I'm Kenji Tomochika. We're in the same class. Morning. Uh, yo. Yeah, you too. I heard from Yuri that you're pretty close with Takeba son. Look at listen. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm looking for someone with a little more experience anyway. That's a very weird thing to say. Oh crap, it's almost time for the morning assembly. Come on, we better hurry. Yeah, whatever. I don't like you. That concludes the main portion of today's assembly. Next, we'll hear a word from the student council. Please welcome the new president, Mitsuru Kirijo, from Class 3D. Thank you. So she did get elected. Well, I guess she is the most popular girl in school. You can say that again. She's got this intimidating vibe around her. Not to mention, this school's owned by the Carijo Group, right? Good. As I begin my term as student council president, I'd like to share with you my vision for this coming year. 
It is my firm belief that each of us must accept the responsibility of bettering our school. However, change cannot occur without sustained effort and an unprecedented level of commitment. That is why we must restructure our daily lives in order to rise to this challenge. I'd like each of you to dig deeply into your well of motivation and reevaluate your convictions. Strive to imagine a bold new future without losing sight of the realities around you. That is the key. My own ideas are but one person's vision. For us to reap the full benefits of our education, your participation, opinions, and enthusiasm are essential. Thank you. Dang, what a speech. Do you, uh, have any idea what she just said? Uh, no. I clue, Junpei. I'm with you, buddy. Me neither. We live in the same dorm, but it's like we're on different planets. Man, if she asks for my opinion, I don't know what I'll say. All right, today we'll be looking at some Meiji era literature. Open your book, textbooks to page 12. You know what? I'm sick of this story. I already went over it in the last class. These teachers. I've got a great poem we can discuss instead. Close your textbook, everyone, and listen to this. Isolated clouds suspended over the tall, snowy mountain peak. No, do not close your eyes. Stay away. What even... Hey, Kenji, you better not be sleeping back there. You should be ashamed of yourself napping while I pour my heart into this reading. You're getting another essay on top of the regular assignment tonight. I expect a slice of cake when you turn it in, too. And don't cheap out with the store-bought stuff like last time. I forced myself to stay awake and listen to the lecture. Good. Academics, we're moving up. We're still a slacker, though. Want to stop by Paulonia Mall on the way back? Might want to stock up while we can, since we got stuff going on at night. And there's a pharmacy there too. Couldn't hurt to get some meds in case anything happens. You bet I am. If we don't step up to the plate, who will? The chairman said it himself. The fate of the world depends on us. Let's go, leader. First task, escape from the school. how popular Sonata-san is with the ladies? Man, take a look at that. I guess neither of us really got to know him before all this crazy stuff happened. He's a captain of the boxing team. Never lost a single match. I know that's cool and all, but who'd have thought boxing would turn you into a chick man? I mean, come on! They're fawning on him more than a harem monk. <laughs> what? I wonder where they're going. Hey, are you guys free this afternoon? Huh? Uh, us? Yeah, I mean, hell yeah! We love to join your little, uh, group here. <laughs> yeah, what about our shopping, bro? We can shop later! Well, are you free or not? Yeah, of course! No problemo. I want the two of you to meet me at Polonia Mall. You know where it is, right? I'll be waiting at the police station. Got it? D the police station? You mean we're not hanging out with your friends? Who? These girls? No, I don't even know their names. Hearing so much chit chat gives me a headache. Anyway, I'm going on ahead. Don't keep me waiting. Can he not know their names? I mean, seriously, just look at them. Uh, anyway, let's go. Take it easy, Junpei. Sonata asked us to meet him at the Palomi Palonia Pal Polonia. Oh man, Mall Police Station. Junpei and I decided to head over. Yeah. 
Let's go. Love this map. So cool. Those mysterious cases of ordinary healthy people changing overnight? Sure. I guess that shouldn't be a surprise. It's all over TV. Yeah. yeah. Great conversation. Yeah, let's go. Thank you, Kurosawa-san. I'll be taking it. Oh. These are the guys I was talking about earlier. Hmm. This is Officer Kurosawa. He helps keep our squad well equipped. Oh, and here. This is from Ikutsuki san. 5G's, nice. Whoa, is that our war funds? You shouldn't have. You can't fight empty handed, so find something you like. Kurosawa san has connections. He can secure equipment for us. But these things still cost money. Of course they do. Nothing in life is free. I realize that. Well, I'll see you later. Thanks again. I've been informed about you two. My job is to maintain peace in this city regardless of the circumstances. I'm just an ordinary police officer, but it doesn't take a genius to know something strange is going on here. I'm only doing what I think is right. Nothing more. If you need something, we can talk in the back. All right. Well then, I don't have that much, but you should be able to find what you need. At Tatsumi East Police Station, you can purchase equipment for you and your party to use in battle. You can also sell any equipment you aren't using if you need a extra cash. There's no telling what dangerous charters will throw your way, so be sure to gear up with the highest quality equipment that you can afford. Equipment is listed in four categories, weapon, armor, footwear, and accessories. Weapons primarily influence attack damage, armor reduces the damage taken by the wearer, footwear affects the wearer's evasiveness, and accessories grant the wearer various special effects. Sometimes equipment other than accessories will also grant special effects. Try out different combinations to op optimize and specialize your loadout. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. uh, weapon. I got some stuff you might find useful. So feel free to browse. Effect. Uh, so no effect on that one. But Gladius. Uh, 10 extra HP. And our current short sword has 38. When it comes to blades, you've really got to take good care of them. Otherwise, they're just useless metal sticks. Yeah, metal sticks for sure. Alright, I'm thinking we go Saber. Just heavy, heavy damage. I don't think we're super worried about losing HP right now. That what you want? Alright then. Equip it. Uh, might as well sell it. Uh, Yukari. Three thousand for a short bow. How's he doing? Let's get Yukari a, a new bow. Everything look good here. All right then. Equip it. Sell Harold bow. And now let's look at uh, armor. As long as you need. Oh, can't afford any of that. What are you looking for? What will it be? As long what about as some new shoes. Evasion's currently at eight. Okay, everybody's is at eight. I kind of like. Feel free to buy whatever you want. Making you carry kind of like untouchable. Something that complements your physique. Textured sandals that are easy to walk. Okay. Yeah, let's. Let's hook her up. Oh, she is wearing the problem. Okay. Accessories. What are you looking for? Yeah. Wow, we could have just spent everything on this. 
Alright. Hopefully that wasn't really you dumb. But, um... What? Hmm? You finished? Yeah. Sorry. Come back soon. Hey, Gav, sir. I can't believe the police station's selling weapons. Right? Weird. What's more? They only gave us 5,000 yen. You ain't that kind of stingy? I mean, kind of saving the world. Kind of. Oh, crap. It's this late already? I'm gonna miss the rerun of the Lonely Shogun. I gotta go. What about stacking up? Junpei, you're all over the place, my man. Wow. Well, about that. I'll leave the rest to you, leader. Let's meet up again. You know where. Okay. There's a ton of shops and stuff in this place, so you really should check it out while you can. All right. See you back at the dorm. Hi, Junpei. Starting today, you're free to use your after school hours however you wish. Making use of various school, school facilities or visiting certain spots in town can raise your academic charm or courage. However, the number of activities you can engage in each day is limited. Think carefully about how you spend your time and plan ahead. Yeah, I'm not really worried about network. Nice. So, this is closed. July 22nd, gonna be a minute. Check all cafe. It's crowded right now. Not open yet. It's bored. Uh, traffic safety, reminders of recent crimes in the area. Close. Pharmacy. Probably don't have enough Welcome. money for anything. Uh, so there's all kinds of recovering items you want to check their stock on a regular basis. Keep an eye on their seasonal products. We've got some new stuff. Stuff. Take your time, bros. Super cat food. Hoity toity cat food for fine feelings. What is that? Alright, well. Done already? Yeah, well, I spent all my money on weapons. Alright. What about this? Kenneth Arnold? Music store. Good job, Pake. Oh man, talking is hard. You can partake in the services offered by various establishments in town, but doing so will cause time to pass. Many businesses will raise your academics, charm, or courage. High stats may help you form new relationships. Depending on what game you play at Game Parade, you can increase academics, charm, courage, or a stat of your equipped persona. The arcade cycles through which games are available each day of the week. Time will pass regardless of what game you play. Um, yeah, I don't have enough money. Yeah, shoot. Elsewhere? Elsewhere? Let's try going upstairs. The Mandragora. Can't afford that either. It's at 800. Oh. Okay, we can check out the Velvet Room. Oh, the crane game. Cost 200, yeah. Why not? In the meantime, I'll scrape my charger. Oh, did I get it? I got it. What's that do, you think? The piggy being shaped like a deity. My please someone. Alright, so it's just a gift. Okay. Alright, might as well head back to the dorm, I guess. Alright, 
Okay, you know what? I think we'll end this episode here. Um, not very exciting, but uh, we're already getting a little long. So I'll end it here, and when we come back, we'll head into the dorm, and I'm sure we'll be hopping right back into Tartarus. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. See you in the next one.